Hey, what's up guys, Mudar Truga Development. As you can see, I'm working outside today. I'm installing uh, really cool gooseneck outdoor uh, light fixtures above two garage doors. And what I wanna show you is how to install a J-block lighting box onto existing siding. It's gonna be easy, you don't really need any special tools. An oscillating tool will make the job easier, but you could knock this out with a utility knife. So, let's check it out. All right, guys. So here we are. So the first thing I did was uh, actually feed the feed the line. I didn't record this. This is pretty straightforward. Um, I measured the center of my garage basically, and then used the spade bit to go through the header, uh, which is usually what you have here. Make sure to measure that because you want to know, or you want to make sure that you have enough clearance to drill. Uh, excuse me screw your flange right so once this goes in here you want to make sure that you have wood to screw into okay um, so anyways this video is about mounting this guy so I didn't bother with that recording that so the first thing you want to do this comes in two pieces the other piece just like that one will go on top of it to cover everything so what you want to do is you want to cut just this measure right here easiest way to do that as you go right through in here, center it to your hole, hold it tight, and mark it. Okay, now double check your measurements. It should be a five by six. You got five by six. You wanna make sure that you're five by six here. Okay, give or take a little bit is fine. That's why I have my utility knife to make sure things are perfect once we're done. And now you go ahead and start with your cutting. So I use the oscillating tool. Like I said, if you have a knife, you could use that as well. No problem. Now be very careful when you're cutting around siding, right? Because you want to make sure you don't go over because then you make you make it weaker in, in those spots that you you run over and that that could leave room for it to break down the line. Okay. Alright, I think. I'm happy with that. Now, you don't need any special tools to remove your siding. You'll see wherever two siding pieces meet, you're gonna have a little notch right here. So I usually use that to pop this off, just like that, right? And then push this up and then bring this out, okay? Now, don't worry, this stuff snaps right back on, so no big deal, okay? Now, let me repeat that. I didn't use any special tools, but if you understand the orientation of this siding, then you'll know what you need to do. See, there's that channel right here, so as long as you push this up a little bit and then push this down, you release it, okay? Now, all you gotta do, slide this bad boy down. Get the wire out. looks like let's see I think I need to cut a little bit more at the bottom a lot more use the knife for this here we go see I use my thumb to push it down to keep it in place so it doesn't run on me you don't want it to run The other thing that you want to do is you don't want to force 
things into place. What I mean by that is if it's tight, like how I have it here, don't push this in like that because then you'll break it. Once you break it, you're done. I have to get a whole new siding. All right, and that's in place. Take your level, make sure things are level, okay? Looks like I gotta move up a little bit here, but that's fine. Now on to screws. I'm using my Duroc screws. Now these are galvanized screws. I have extras. Why not use them? Okay. Now here's the tricky part is to screw this. Screw the flanges. You don't really have a lot of room. I will make it happen and hopefully you could see this in the camera. So my first screw that I'm going to go for is that guy in the middle. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'll try to pop this off as much as I can. And don't worry, it's flexible right there. That's where we're going to go. Boom. Push this up. And you're gonna go at a little bit of an angle, which is okay. Going into wood. There you go, I'll get a visual on it from here. Now I'm not gonna tighten it all the way. Again, I'm gonna cross check, make sure everything is level. All right, so we need to push up here like that. So my next, screw is going to be right here in this corner. I'll do this guy. And uh, once you're done screwing your uh, screws in, you're gonna make sure you take the level on each screw that you put in just to make sure you're still level, okay? And uh, that's it, you push this thing through, like I said, nice and gentle, okay? And then you pop your siding right back in. Right, nice and flush. Here we go, last piece. And this goes right in, hides all the imperfections. That's that's the idea behind it, just like with any trim. Next is to splice and install the light fixtures. I'm gonna do that off camera. This video is really just to kind of show you how to put on your um, J block onto existing siding. All right, guys, here you go. The lights are up. Everything works. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I do real estate as well, like I said before, so check my other videos if you're interested in that. It's hot as hell, so I can't wait to take a shower. See you guys in the next one.